bit of a flashback to 2007 for Geelong. Enright, and he just pumps it high. Can he? Over the top! <laughs> oh, forget being a can he. He was the main player there. And they've opened up the goal square a bit, amazingly. So it's all one-on-ones deep. And again, the kick wasn't bad to let them lead hard at it. 23 years of age now. Had 16 disposals last week. Just kicked the one goal. And he's got one this afternoon. And keep possession of the ball. Really well worked again. Oh, just out his head, yeah. Fell down at the last moment. But Mullet has curled one back. It's brave stuff to let it go. It was a terrific goal. Got the weather report from Mars. <laughs> Drew Petrie has two out of two. Good hit. And he can make that three out of three. Yep. So I just pressed them off. And I've got to Adams. A wobbling ball. Petrie oh. again. It's the isolation boys that these guys are getting yep. with each other they didn't have last week. Oh, good hit. Petrie nails it. That's four. And uh, what a wonderful target Petrie's been. It didn't look pretty, but it was nearly effective for Cunnington. Adams, he's buzzing around there, causing all sorts of havoc. Anthony, not always the best kick, but everything is turning to goal today. Taylor Hunt just changes his mind at the last minute. And, oh, that's a good grab for a small player. Yeah. On a run late for the Cats. They desperately need this to go through. And he just caressed it. So this young man, Blitzard, is... Doing his best, he's a very inexperienced footballer. But it's a, an area Geelong are clearly deficient in at the moment. And it's costing them, so they need to make the most of their scoring opportunities. And again, oh, that's that too high. high on Christensen. So if you're a defender, it's worth rolling the dice. Yep. Seeing what you can create. Christensen kicks the goal for Geelong. <laughs> Taylor Hunt, the onus on him. He just sensed a little bit of a slip of his opponent. Podsy Adley didn't quite control it. Chapman did. Off to Motlop. Has a little glance. He knows that Adley's quick. Hey. But nothing can stop him that time. High ball up into the 50. Oh, and that's a telling grab from Tarrant. Just so much hanging on this kick just to nullify the surge of Geelong. And that's a great strike from Robbie Tarrant. Umpire. Stokes. 34 seconds to go. A low ball into the 50. Oh, brilliant kick. They could be under 10 points if he kicks truly here. And the goal umpire does not have to move a muscle. So North Melbourne just need a bit of composure and good ball use. They should run over the top of them. Well, there's free players moves everywhere on both sides when they get hold of the ball, but no one can use the ball well. Here we see another hack kick coming out of the fence. Well, Corey did enough. Gibson... It's an astonishing sight, isn't it? To see the rain. Well, I don't think anyone here would have brought a rain jacket, no. no. Coming to an indoor venue. In the back, oh, it's well. a north three. Daniel Wells. Trying conditions, would you believe it? Eddie had. Not a problem for Daniel Wells. Well, I'm just trying to pick their way through now, though. Stokes. Low ball to Oh, what a kick. Oh, it went over Christensen's head. Chapman. He just rolled through. And if he had more time than yeah, he thought, then. He did. He's... Christensen has never kicked four goals in a game. He's going into territory he's never been before. And he couldn't get there. And boy, they've had some misses in oh, this last quarter. Lost with that one inside 50. North Melbourne in front here. Petrie up and down on the spot. Oh! oh no! And 50! Oh, and 50, oh, no, 50. Is, it, is it 50? I think it is. I think it is. It is. Oh, oh, the oh, is the 50. <laughs> Oh, you caught it early. Oh. He's put it through. Where did the 50, 50 come from? The 50 because he kicked it away. Farina.